What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going to be using two amazing Gen 1 Pokemon in the ranked double ladder, or I should say in the Master Tier. We are rocking out with a Butterfree team that also features G-Max Pikachu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genes community. Seriously, only takes about two seconds of your guys' time. So, again, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. But let's get started here in that top left corner, starting off with the one and only Butterfree. Butterfree is over here, and it used to be a really good Pokemon in ranked double battles, up until like restricted mods really came in here and changed up the format. It's got compound eyes alongside with the focus sash as its item and ability. Then it's got palm puff for stab and HP recovery for allied Pokemon. Hurricane to actually hit 100% of the time in the rain with this Kyogre. Then we got sleep powder and tailwind for some speed control. Second Pokemon is going to be G-Max Pikachu, and you guys know the power of this Pokemon right here. With that Light Ball, it just makes it do so much damage. So G-Max them using G-Max Volt Crash paralyzes everybody on the field, besides, you know, your allied Pokemon, and then it just does a big damage all around. It's got Lightning Rod as its ability to protect their allied Pokemon from Lightning moves, or I should say Electric moves, and then it's got Grass Knot, Helping Hand, Fake Out, and Thunder for its moveset. Middle left is going to be our first restricted mon, and it is going to be Zacian over here. And I shouldn't just say Zacian. This is Quick Guard Zacian. You never see a Quick Guard Zacian. I think it's going to be pretty cool to showcase, considering Zacian is like the number one Pokemon people target with Fake Out. So I think that's cool that this thing is actually rocking Quick Guard. It's got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability, and then Iron Head Play Rough and Protect for its other three moves. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Tornadus over here, and Tornadus just pairs up with Kyogre so well. You cannot have a Kyogre team without Tornadus. You got Prankster, alongside with that Mental Herb, and then you got Hurricane, Icy Wind, Rain Dance to set the rain, and then Tailwind for a little bit more speed control for this team. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Seismitoad over here, and Seismitoad works perfect in the rain, considering it has Swift Swim as its ability, which doubles its speed in the rain. It's got Life Orb as item, and then it's got Liquidation, Stop and Cantrum, both for Stab, and it's got Power Whip and Bounce, both for coverage moves. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be that Kyogre Drizzle, alongside with that Mystic Water as its item to boost its water damage. You got Origin Poles, Water Spout, Ice Beam, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Butterfree Pikachu Rain Team. First battle coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Yvelta and Zacian team. He also has two ground type Pokemon, so this makes me not want to bring in Pikachu. He has the Landers and the Gastron, and then last but not least, he has Regilecki and Bronzong. So I could bring Pikachu, but I feel like he would just have options to swap into to dodge Pikachu. And then he also has Storm Drain Gastron, which is a pain for my for my weather squad. But I still kind of want to bring in the uh, the Seismic team. I feel like he can work really well. He does have a grass coverage move that can do some damage over onto that Gastron, so I really do like that. I really do like that. So let's go Seismitoad. Let's go uh, Tornadus, or do we just lead Rain? I feel like we could take Weather and kind of just get after the battle that way. And I could go Kyogre and just start throwing some Ice Beams. I mean, Ice Beam is four times super effective on the lander, so I kind of dig it. I kind of dig just going in with the Brain Squad. Or I can lead Tornadus to take speed that way. Because in that case, we can boost speed for the whole team, which wouldn't be bad with Tailwind and all that good stuff. That's not too bad. But I kind of just like the Seismitoad and Kyogre, and we can roll up in there. Then we'll bring Zacian, and then I could go Butterfree in the back end, or even Tornadus in the back end, but I feel like Butterfree would be a bit better in the back end. You know, it has that focus ash, it can do some damage, it can heal Pokemon, it can Tailwind, it can put Pokemon to sleep. I kind of dig it. And then if Rain's going on, we have Hurricane ready. So I'm going to lock it in, I'm going to lock it down, we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, if you guys want to catch extra content from me, I did not mention this in, in the beginning of today's video, I usually do. But your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. And name is legit like right below my face cam. Right down here. It says Jeans25. Go type that in the search bar on Twitch. Hit that follow button. Ring those notification bells. And if I am live, if I am live, pop in that chat. You better pop in that chat and say what's up to your boy. Because I love chatting with you guys and I love talking to you. But this guy ends up bleeding landers and much like for the first battle. He is going to get that Intimidate. Which, uh, it does affect my size. But I'm kind of cool with that. Got a little drizzle going. I do have some speed here. I can get ripping. Um, I could just go for an ice beam, which might be my play. Ice beam, and I could go into a stopping tantrum, which wouldn't be bad. I kind of with that all day. I'm kind of with that all day because he can swap and storm drain Gastron in one of the slots. I'm not going for any water moves here. Yep, he's gonna end up withdrawing Lando. He's gonna go into Gastron. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Gastron's gonna come out here. We are not going for that water move. This thing's just gonna eerie impulse. Okay, I don't really mind that. I can swap my ogre. I can swap my ogre. Maybe we can get a freeze off here. Wouldn't be too bad. But Simon Tantra's gonna come through here. Gonna do some nice damage over onto this Regilecki and just bring it down to Focus Ash. So not bad turns. 
Not bad turns. Not a bad turn. Ice Fiend's gonna fly. We're sending it that way. We kind of saw that that storm Jade coming in hot, but we're not really gonna do a lot of damage at all. Pretty much nothing. So I could swap both. I mean, I could save my Dynamax. Um, is Butterfree a G Max? I kind of want to see. That would be lovely. I kind of like it. That's a G Max. It is a G Max Butterfree. It's your stats. Okay, Butterfree. I might save my Dynamax for you. I'm liking you, Butterfree. I'm digging you, Butterfree. Butterfree getting after it. I might save my Dynamax for that Butterfree. Not too bad. Um, I could go for a Power Whip, which I'm probably going to do. Try to get rid of you. And then Ice Beam across into the slot. Staying at this point. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up going for a Protect on the Gastron. That's totally fine. And this thing is probably going for, like, a Thunderbolt. Yeah. Thunderbolts can come through here. Which, my boy should be able to soak, right? Yeah, he could work Kyogre. So, Kyogre soaks rather well. Power Whip's going to come out here. It does get blocked, which I'm kind of sad about. Because that could have did some big damage. And we probably could have taken it out. But Ice Beam is going to fly. So we get rid of Regilecki, that's a solid turn. And he's probably gonna bring back out. Probably gonna bring back out uh Manners in my opinion with that intimidate. But I still don't mind because I can ice beam. Four times super effective. I get a minus two, but still. So nice damage can roll off from there. So he has Landers, and then I don't know who his final Pokemon is. It's gonna be Yavelta. There you go. He just showed it, and he is a hundred percent, ten thousand percent Dynamax in this, this Pokemon. And I might just double down into Gastron slot. I might just double down on the Gastron at this point. Power Whip alongside with an Ice Beam, just in case he swaps into that Lando. I definitely see it happening. I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. Because he's Dynamaxing your belt all day. And there's the swap. Okay, cool. So that's exactly why I doubled down on this slot. Because he probably predicted the Power Whip coming in here. But he did not predict this Airstream coming in. Or not Airstream. It's uh, Ice Beam coming in. So... See what you about to do. He's got a Dynamax, right? I wonder who he's going after. I kind of hope he goes after my uh, my Seismith, just so I can get off this Ice Beam. Ice Beam could be rather good. Ice Beam can be rather good. A lovely little Ice Beam. A lovely little Ice Beam. And I'm hoping he's going for Darkness, just so uh, my Zassian can outspeed and I can pull him out next turn. And potentially just drop a Behemoth Blade, right? That does sound good. Power Whip actually comes out here first. Quick guy right here. This little power whip is going to chip up some damage. A little bit. I am minus two. I got to remember that. And maybe Kyogre is going to get off this ice beam. Let's see. Now we air streams. Go into size mode, please. No, he takes out my ogre, yo. Leave my ogre alone. Takes out my Kyogre. I really want to get that ice beam off. So he has plus one on speed. Um, I could bring out Butterfree here. Butterfree's not too bad. But I might need to just Dynamax it. I just need to Dynamax it. Hmm. Hmm. Butterfree, do you what do you want to do here, Butterfree? We could throw Yvelta to sleep. Ah, I'm gonna save my Butterfree. I'm gonna go Zassian right here. I'm gonna go Zassian, throw Behemoth Blade out here, and then I'm just gonna go for a liquidation in this ring. I don't really see him swap he might swap into Gastron. You never know. I don't know. I do not know. Do not know because I could go for liquidation. Liquidation could do some nice damage, which I think I'm gonna do. And then I could go for a play rough because it is stab, but this is double damage and it is stab. And I think this does more damage when it, up against a Dynamax Pokemon because it is double. So it's kind of just like it's super effective. So I'm just gonna roll into a blade. He's gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. I'm gonna try to get after the Shibeltal and see if we can get us off some damage here. Liquidation is gonna come through here. I might read the swap after that into the Gastron. He sees me going for liquidation and he's just gonna airstream, so I should be able to eat that up. Well, it goes into my size between. Oh, cool. And size between still eats up. That is lovely. That is lovely. So this thing's just gonna take a uh, speed boost. Yve or not Yvelta. Uh, Zashin's gonna be able to get off this Behemoth Blade. And then we still have Dynamax for Butterfree. So not a bad battle. So it's definitely coming down to the wire. Yeah, Behemoth Blade. Just, just, just do a lot of damage. Just take him out. Not enough, man. Come on, Behemoth Blade. You're better than that. You're better than that. Uh, from here, I'm just going to go into a Power Whip. Maybe predict a swap. And just go into another Behemoth Blade. I mean, he could guard here. But I think he's just going to use his last Dynamax turn for Max Darkness, right? Seems like the best play. Yeah, he's going to double down Zassian here. So he goes into Zassian. He's definitely trying to pop an EQ here. And maybe my Seismitu can outspeed. I don't think he does. Kind of hurts the soul. Kind of hurts the soul that he's not going to be able to. He's going to go for the EQ. And that's going to pick up a double kill. That is going to pick up a double kill. That hurts soul. Oh, Zassian. I love you. Oh, my God, Zassian. Free focus, Ash. We're living on two. That's huge plays. That's huge plays. Behemoth Blade is going to fly here through here. We do have Butterfree. I could protect and then get an Airstream boost. Then maybe make Zassian a bit faster. 
But yeah, let's go, Butterfree. Well, not Butterfree. Let's go, Zassy, and surviving just by a little bit. It's lovely. It is lovely. So we get to bring out Butterfree here. Uh, I'm probably just going to protect my Zassy and get some status conditions on these Pokemon. Right? Because isn't that what his uh, move does? Isn't that what his G-Max move does? It, like, gets, like, gives out status conditions? I think it does. It's something like that. It's something like that. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it. But that is solid. That is real solid. That's solid. I could actually Airstream Boost. I could definitely Airstream Boost. I could Tailwind here, too. Tailwind would not be bad. Tailwind would not be bad. But what's your G-Max move? G-Max Befuddle. This move inflicts Poisons, Paralyze, or Sleep Kiss. Oh, we are sending this. We are sending this over on the Gastron, and I'm just going to protect Zaz. We are sending this over on him. He actually might protect Gastron. That'd be fun. He max Befuddle. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to get Befuddle in. We do have to watch out for a rock move. Rock move is four times super effective on us. Kind of scary, not going to lie. But this match is, I'm telling you, coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire. But we have a chance of sleeping. We have a chance of sleeping. We have a chance of paralyzing. I wouldn't either sleep or paralyze. That would be my best bet here. That would that would do me good. Like, poison's really not going to do me any, any good. Wait. Rockside's going to come in here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Butterfree's going down to Sash, isn't he? No, but but Gaston can actually take it out from here. But Fod will come out here. Yo, we need some big-time status conditions. We need some big-time status conditions. That's some solid damage, too. Give me some good old status conditions. Sleeps. Paralyze on you. And what we get over there? A poison. No. No. That's big, though. He's paralyzed this turn. Um, I don't know what we can do here to win this battle. We need him to miss Rock Slides. We need him to miss Rock Slides, because a Rock Slide kills both my Pokemon here. That is tough. That is tough. We're going to go into an Airstream into that slot, and I guess we'll go into a Behemoth Blade. This is tough. This is tough. We just need Rock Slide to miss. It's our only option. We need Rock Slides to miss, but yo, solid first battle. Let's see. He ends up going for the Rock Slide, right? He protects Gastro. What's he going for here? EQ comes out here. He EQs. Wait a minute. We have a shot here. He EQ'd instead of rock sliding. Which I don't know why. If Butterfree can KO here with the poison, we outspeed and we can take out that Gastron, I think. Butterfree. Butterfree. Clutch it up. I'm so surprised he didn't go for that rock slide. Maybe he was just like, dude, accuracy's low. I think that's that was his thought process. Was accuracy was low and I was going back into Gastron. So that happens. Um, can we actually take out with with a befuddle? Can we take out with befuddle? Actually, Airstream will do more damage. Airstream should be able to take out Butterfree. Clutch it up for battle number one. Get us on the board here. Get us on the board, little butterfly. He goes for double protect to try to get some more HP back. Should have went for the shot. He should have went for the shot. Airstream's coming out here. And he should have went for the shot. This dude's upset. This dude's not having it. This dude's so upset. He's so upset he didn't go for the shot there. Oh my god. Thank god he didn't go for the shot. This guy really kind of just threw this battle. I wouldn't say throw it because he probably had a thought process in the back end. He was probably like, I could go for a rock side, but again, like I'm the same way. Like chance of it missing could lose you the match. But this guy double protected. That was surprising. That was surprising that he actually double protected there because I would have never. I would have been like, okay, hopefully we eat up the shot and we can go from there. So I'm just going to go into a Palm Puff. We have speed all day. He's paralyzed too. I'm loving it. And he's going to go for a Protect this time. God dang it, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Three Protects in a row. This dude's trying to farm up some HP. But yeah, my boy Butterfree getting after it. I could put this thing to... Actually, I, I can't put this thing to sleep. I was going to say, I could just throw this thing to sleep. Guarantee myself a victory. But Palm Puff should be able to do enough damage. Get it, Butterfree. Just finish this battle off, dude. I swear, if this thing goes for a fourth protect, a double double protect, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. Pop up comes out here. That should be GG's, right? Butterfree, don't let me down here. I love you, Butterfree. I love you, Butterfree. Butterfree clutching up in battle number one. We start off one and zero, and we're gonna hop into a second. Let's go back to back. I don't know how we won that battle, but we take those victories all day. We're hopping into our second battle, and we're going up against a heavy Trick Room team with Porygon 2, Ice Rider, Calyrex, Amoongus, Tapu, Finny, and Sinor, and then he's got the Palkia. So this just screams Trick Room, right? It just screams Trick Room. So we can't go into a Tailwind. Do I have anybody with Taunt? I don't think I do have anybody with Taunt. I do have Butterfree who can put Pokemon to sleep. 
So that might be our only way to kind of counter up Trick Room, and I'm kind of digging it. I mean, we could go into Zacian, but like we're just gonna rock into Butterfree. Butterfree, and then who else? We could go Butterfree and Kai Ogre. Just in case he wants to lead, say, Incineroar and fake out my Butterfree, then we have a Kyogre Water Spout coming out there, and then if he fakes out my Kyogre, we have a Sleep Powder coming out across the board. I kind of do like that. Or he can go into a Rage Powder. Rage Powder's kind of scary, but uh, then at that point, we just Hurricane and we kind of get it. So I'm going to go Butterfree. I'm going to go Kyogre. We have to bring Zacian, right? And do we bring Pikachu in this battle? What's your speed, Peaky? Little Peaky's 156. I don't really like that. That just looks like that just screams I get dumped on by Trickman, right? The size of them might be a little bit better, but still, tough news here. Real tough. Real tough, dude. I don't like this. I don't like what we're going up against. I guess we'll bring size platoon. I guess we're going same squad, different order. I guess that's what we're going for. But we gotta try to counter up Trick Room here. We have to try to counter up Trick Room. Have to get after it. I mean, what I could do if he does lead a Moongus, I could G Max the Fuddle into a Moongus and try to make something happen. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see who he leads first and foremost. He's gonna end up leading blah blah blah. blah. Amoongus and Palkia. So Palkia can pop trick him all day. That is probably his best lead he can actually do. That is his best lead he can actually do. Uh Rage Powder 100 percent coming out here. I think I just got a hurricane and try to try to get after that. Right. Hurricane water spout might be my best bet. He gets off the trick room no matter what. He's gonna rage powder the shot. It's gonna rage powder the shot. I think yeah, I think we just hurricane. And we and we spout. That should be enough damage, right? Unless he's rocking the Kobe Berry. I think we just double down on Moongus. He protects a Moongus and pops trick him, that'd be a power move. Rage powder's coming out here. So good thing we we, we ended up doing this. But he might have a Kobe Berry, that's why I ended up dropping the ice beam too. He does not have the Kobe Berry. So this should do a nice chunk of damage here. And Ice Beam should be... A, actually, good thing I did go into Ice Beam. Ice Beam... Because Water Spout wouldn't have been able to dump on him. Ice Beam should be able to take him out. Beautiful. So we get rid of him. No problem. Palkia's going to pop the Trick Room. He's going to throw out Calyrex. And then we have Focus Ash, which is pretty solid for us. So we got to kind of predict what Pokemon he's going to end up Dynamaxing. And I feel like if he throws out Calyrex, it's got to be Calyrex. But if he doesn't, then it's obviously Palkia. But we'll see how he plays this one. We shall, he's got to know that we have focus ash, which is kind of tough, but at the same time, it's like, eh. He's going to throw out. Trick Room's always tough. Trick Room is always tough, especially when he let it like that. Okay, so he throws out Calyx. I got to think that the Calyx is going into Dynamax, right? Actually, Palkia might, because he might just go into, like, a Glacial Lance. Go from there, but I'm going to still throw Calyx to sleep, just in case he wants to do that. I'm just going to protect my, uh, my Ogre here. I am protecting my Kyogre. But yeah, you guys know if you're playing, if you're using a team that's not too good, like that doesn't really have any trick room counters. Oh no, he's Dynamax and Palkia. Dang it, man. But you guys know if he doesn't, uh, or if you're going up against a trick room team and you don't really have trick room counters, you are just going to have yourself such a tough time. And that's exactly what we're going into here. We're going to have ourselves a tough time. So I think he goes to the Glacial Lance. He brings me down to Sash, and I think he doubles down to Kai over here. If I can put Kalyx to sleep, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, but yeah, the Glacial Lance is 100% coming in hot, right? Yeah, there it is. So yeah, Butterfree's gonna sash up here. Palkia, we gotta hope that you're going. You, you gotta double down to Kyogre. There's no way you double down to my Butterfree. That'd be an impressive call. That'd be a real impressive call. We sash up. We're looking to lay a nice little sleep powder. Let me get after it. Guys are coming in here. Who are you going after with that? He is going after Kyogre. Okay, cool. Maybe he thought I was swapping. I don't know. Maybe he thought I was swapping. He gets a crit there. Hands up, guys. Go ahead, Butterfree. You gotta land this. You gotta land the sleep out here. Good work, Butterfree. Good work, Butterfree. Butterfree's doing good, yo. I love Butterfree. I think it's so so much fun to use in competitive battles. I used to use a... Uh, it was like a G-Max Charizard team with Butterfree on the side. It used to thrive out strong. That was before Restricted Mons were even allowed here. But uh, from here, I could just... Uh, obviously, I want to go for the sleep out here on the U. And I'm just going to Origin Pulse across the board. Try to get off as much damage as I can on the Cadillac. But I wonder who he's going to try to take out here. I really do wonder because Palkia is in a tough situation where it's just like, if he doesn't take out my Butterfree, he goes to sleep. But then if he doesn't go after Kyogre, we could get off some big damage. He's going to end Geysering. Who are you going into here? Butterfree. Kyogre. So, okay. So, we get to put you to sleep. Good thing we were going for an Origin Pulse. Kind of like that. 
I mean, Butterfree has to land a sleep powder still. Orange Pulse, who's dodging it? Who just dodged that? Please be the, uh... Okay, cool. It was the Palkia. I'd rather hit up on that Calyrex. Sleep powder comes out here. I put you to sleep. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, Butterfree. It's not too bad. You're looking good, Butterfree. I could Palm Puff the heal up. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to Palm Puff the heal you up. And I'm just going to drop an Orange Pulse. If this Orange Pulse connects on the Calyrex, hopefully Calyrex is still asleep here. Let's make it happen. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Can you eat this up, Kyogre? Can you eat this up, Kyogre? Do me a favor. Eat this up, please. That hurts the soul, man. One turn sleeps. It's always one turn sleeps. Kyogre eats that up. I like that, Ogre. I need you to land his origin balls. Okay, so that works. Because Palky is 100% asleep this turn. 100% asleep this turn. If we can get rid of Calyrex here, I kind of like that. So Palky is slumped. Come on, land this, Ogre. Do him dirty. Let's go. I love you, Kyogre. Kyogre picking up a nice KO on that plus one Calyrex. We wasted out the last turn of Dynamax for Palkia. And Butterfree is coming up clutch, yo. My boy Butterfree. I can bring in Seismitoad now. Or I can just bring in Zassian while this thing's asleep and try to go for a play rough. It's not a bad call and just save my Dynamax. Right? I can definitely just save my Dynamax. Definitely save my Dynamax. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Incineroar. Eh. Hate this game. I could quick guard it. I go for an Origin Pulse. Ho hopefully he's asleep. Hmm. Intimidate's gonna fly. Ah, oh, what do I do? We do have quick guard. We might as well showcase it. Like, it's gonna fake me out. Wait, might as well just go for his quick guard. Just in case he wants to fake out my Kyogre, too. That could be nice. And then we can try to rip into an Origin Pulse again. And get rid of the Incineroar. I'm thinking Palkia should be asleep this turn, too. Wait, there's one turn left in Trick Room. I mean, why wouldn't I just double protect, right? Let's just make this game simple. Is that a quick guard? Let's just, let's just make this one simple. Actually, I probably should have quick guard it, but it's all good. I'm just going to double protect. Let's just make it simple. Because I double protect here, I get speed. I go into play rough. I go into origin pulse, and we take battle number two without even dying. So, yo, Butterfree? Butterfree's doing work today. He's doing work today, right? So double protect comes out here. We waste out that trick room perfectly. And the only reason we were able to do that is because sleep powders were coming in hot. Butterfree with them compound eyes ability. Loving it. Oh, good thing we did double protect. Good thing we did double protect, because I would have quick guard and that would have that would have taken out my assassin, I think. Good thing we double protect. Good thing we double protect. So rain's gone. We gotta play rough here. And we gotta drop a lovely little orb. Let's do it. Does he cancel battle? Again, I still have my, my Pokemon in the back end. What are you going for? Nah, that was just a, Okay, never mind. That, that opponent was just doing that for the heck of that, because he knew it was over. He goes for the fake out, just as like a little joke. We end up dropping the Palkia with Play Rough, and then Origin Pulse is going to connect. And, uh, Incineroar might be able to eat this up. Actually, I don't think so. Some big time damage from Ogre. Yeah. Oh, is that thing sashed? It's a sashed Incineroar. Ain't Master Tier. All these battles are uh, top 2,000 players. I'm top 2,000 right now. So this is cool. This is cool. We're going to end up going into uh, Behemoth Blade because it's 100% accuracy, and then we will drop this thing with an Ice Beam. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. 2-0 for today's video. He ends up canceling. And we actually win that battle without even Dynamaxing. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Sneasel and Yveltal team. That's kind of funny considering my last video was actually a Sneasel and Yveltal team. So we kind of know what to expect. We kind of can see what's going on here. Who should I go into and how should I play it? I could end up going into Tornado's Pikachu here. And I'm kind of thinking that. Let's do it. Let's go Tornado's Pikachu. Pikachu is that only Pokemon on the team that we haven't showcased yet. Well, we haven't showcased Tornadas, but Pikachu, you guys, you guys know the deal. We showcase Tornadas in like every other video. But Pikachu, we're going to get him out here in battle number three. And I'll rock out with him. Probably Dynamax him off the rip. Goes Zassian, and then in the back end, Kyogre, right? Sounds good. Looks good. Actually, maybe we shouldn't bring Kyogre. Maybe we should just bring Butterfree. I think we should just bring Butterfree. Because if he brings out Rillaboom, it's going to be a problem. And Kyogre is legit going to get no turn. So, you know what? Kyogre and Seismitoad, you're not, you're not coming in this battle. You are not coming in this battle. We're not dealing with that, because Rillaboom could just grassy glide one dead, grassy glide the other dead. So yeah, we're just going to bring in my, my my girl Butterfree over here. Butterfree has been tearing it up in today's video. Basically picking up that victory in battle number one, and clutching up in battle number two as well. But he's going to end up going Yveltal and this little booger. So I can Tailwind, and I can drop a Lightning. Can he swap in anybody who's going to soak up this Lightning? That's the real question. Rillaboom, right? Rillaboom the only Pokemon he can swap into? Pretty much. 
I'm still gonna send it. We're gonna get these paralyzed down about. So I'm gonna tailwind. I'm gonna take some speed. I'm just gonna G-Max full crash right into the G-Ball. Get it. Let's get it. Pikachu, baby. Pikachu, baby. We also have the lightning rod, which actually protects us really, really well. He could still E-Web. Hopefully, he's not Max Garden here. But he could still E-Web here and slow down my Tornados. But then, that gives Pikachu a plus one special attack boost. And that'd be a big mistake. That would be a huge mistake. Giving my Pikachu that plus, that plus one. Where does he get plus one attack? I don't even know. I think it's actually plus one attack. Let's see how this one plays out here. Is he guarding? I'm hoping he's not guarding. Again, I would love to get off the Shimax Bull Crash. Send the Paralyzed across the board. And get Pikachu rolling out here. Good old Pikachu. Oh, I love this. When he says peak. Ready for it? Wait for it. There it is. There it is. I love it. <laughs> peak. <laughs> it's just so funny. Really low on the HP board. He ends up not max guarding. We dig that. We dig that. We're going to do this. We're going to send a G-Max full crash straight across the board in your off. Getting off some big damage here. Good old damage. We love that. And more importantly, paralyzing him and potentially wasting a turn next turn. Which could be nice. So we paralyze you. We do not paralyze him. He is going to go for the E-Web. We Lightning Rod soak this. And that gives me... Oh, it is special attack. Well, I think it was physical. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Tornadus already got off Tailwind. The Belt is slow as buns. We can kind of get after his battle. But he's going to Airstream now. He's going to go after Tornadus. So he takes out Tornadus. I don't really mind. Regilecki might be faster than most, but we do have Tailwind out on the board. We do have Tailwind out on the board. I mean, Pikachu can rip here. Pikachu can get some work, though. Pikachu can get some work here. Uh, we could go Butterfree. I mean, Butterfree's not too bad, but I think we just go Zacian at this point. And Zacian should be faster than, yeah, Yveltal all, all day. But I think at this point, I can just Behemoth Blade into the Yveltal slot and then Max Strike into the Regilecki slot. I kind of dig that. Kind of wish we had Quick Attack. We're going to hope that this Regilecki's not Sash, but it's got to be Sash, right? I'm just going to Behemoth Blade onto you and then just Max Strike slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Pikachu getting after it. Taking some speed control. It would be nice if uh, we could have paralyzed uh, Regilecki, but again, we can't because he's electric. But Pikachu's plus one on special attack. And he has speed buzzing with the tailwind. So if I can get rid of a Pokemon this turn and then get off another G-Max Bolt Crash, I feel like we could be sitting in a solid spot. Because again, he has that have Robin, right? He's going to end up guarding. Well, that hurts. So we can't. We're, we're hoping that there's no focus ash here. Thunderbolts can come out here. And what is this guy doing? Dude, I'm telling you guys, this is top 2,000 Master Cure battles. What is going on? What is going on here? I'm plus two. I'm plus two. Oh, my God. He saw I had Lightning Rod. He seen it. Seen it. Actually, Max Strike did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Actually, I know why. I didn't even, I didn't even check the damage on it. I didn't even check the damage on it, which is kind of funny. Let's look at it. Ready? I'll show it to you guys. Actually, we're just going to... Uh, how do we do this one? I still think we just behemoth blade into you. And we could just... We should have probably just like overgrowth, but it's 90 base power. Kind of stinks. Actually, it would it would be better if we do this. If we just play rough into this slot. And then just full crash over on the slot. That's kind of my play here. Oh, what's he going to end up doing? He's going to try to for a double match guard. Oh my god, dude. These battles were super easy today. I feel like our opponent... I feel like we just went after... Up against some... Like, I don't even know. Like, opponents that shouldn't be in match tier. And he's just plussing my special attack. Which is wild. But it's crazy. It is crazy. Like, these are master tier battles. Top 2000. And they're pulling this. But... That's pretty much going to be GG. Solid set of battles for today. Solid set of battles for that. We got Pikachu in this final one. Pikachu's just rolling out strong. I get I understand the E-Web call. I understand the E-Web. E-Web was probably just like, oh, he he's probably like he has lightning rod, but I still want to hit up onto this tornado. But then the Thunderbolt call was kind of weird. He's gonna end up going into these two. We have speed all day. Uh he does have grassy surge. That's a little bit of a problem. So we might be able to just go after my Pikachu, which I do not like. I do not like, but uh I do have Butterfree. I do have a nice little Butterfree back in with palm puff we can do some damage roll butterfly so from here i really want to do this actually i could do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try to get some quick card rolling. 
Because we know Grass Guy's coming out here. Or even a fake out. Or even a fake out. Do I get a Thunder? Maybe a Paralyze onto that Zacian? Solid. That'd be real solid. He's got to be faking out or going for a Grassy Glide, right? The Quick Guard's going to come out here for my Zacian. We do a little cool hand movement. He's going to go for the fake out. And we get that block. So I could just protect him. Uh, Pikachu should go next. Can Thunder connect? It does, yo. Let's go, Pikachu. With that Light Ball, you're plus two. Get off some damage here. Pikachu, let's go. Let's go, Pikachu. Rip it into his ass here with a Thunder. That's gorgeous. A perfect Quick Guard there, too. And that should be GG's. We can kind of just Behemoth Blade throughout this battle. And just roll from there. The Behemoth Blade's going to come through here. And I'm just going to help him hand the shot. I'm just going to help him hand the shot. I think our opponent cancels the battle anyway, right? Yep, battle is canceled. And we grab ourselves a 3-0. Perfect record with Butterfree and G-Max Pikachu. It was complete domination in today's video. I ran through all of our opponents. We did really, really well. And we got to showcase G-Max Butterfree in battle number one. And G-Max Pikachu in battle number three. And then last but not least, we got ourselves a perfect record. So, cannot get better than that. It simply cannot get better than that. We had the Size Patone. We had the Kyogre. We got to showcase them a little bit in today's video. And then we had the Tornadus paired up with Pikachu. And Zacian, obviously, we're bringing him in every battle. Because, you know, he is just the best Pokemon in the game. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.